Hey guys, this is Charles Jager with Metal. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at some abstract looks inspired by Doctor Strange and Inception. But really, we're just gonna be looking at some new creative uses for Mantra VR, particularly on alpha channel footage. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy these techniques and just kinda of get you thinking about some new uses for Mantra VR. Keep in mind, you don't have to have the exact same footage like I'm gonna be using today for this demo. Let's go ahead and just look at a few quick shots of what we're gonna be creating. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna be looking at some shots that are fully CG and then some other examples that are actual real world footage. All right guys, now that we're inside of After Effects, I do wanna mention really quickly, just to make sure you have the latest version of Metal Mantra VR installed. In the latest update, they added support for Alpha Channel 360 footage like I'm gonna be working with today. All right, as you can see, what I've got here is just a 360 shot that I rendered out from Element 3D and it's passing through this city. And so what I kinda wanna do is I wanna apply an effect to this to kinda give me that Doctor Strange or an Inception style look. One that comes to mind is the Mantra VR Hyperbolics effect. But you can see this footage is all rendered out as one pass, so everything is together. And this is much like you normally would render out your 360 footage. So let's go ahead and just apply the Hyperbolics effect really quick. So I'm gonna come over here to Effects and Presets, and I'm gonna type in VR. And then we're gonna see the Immersive Video and the Metal Mantra VR effect. So I'm just gonna scroll down here, and you can see we have the Hyperbolics effect. So I'll just apply that to my footage. And you can see we get a really trippy, you know, abstract look. And this does look like something possibly from Doctor Strange. If we come over here to the Metal Globe Preview, I'm actually going to click on this. And I'm going to hit the tilde key, and that's going to make that full screen. And we can just double click to go inside of the sphere. And now we can kind of look around a 360 view. So we can see we've got the abstract effects on our buildings. And we can make out some things in the scene. However, because the hyperbolics effect is affecting everything in the shot, including the sky, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult to kind of get our bearings and kind of realize what exactly we're looking at. It's almost as if it's too abstract for this particular use case. So I'm gonna hit the tilde key on the keyboard and that's just up in the top left corner underneath the escape button there. And I'm gonna come back here to our After Effects view and I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete that effect. And I'm gonna come over here to another comp and just show you I've got the same scene and I rendered this out a little bit differently. So I actually rendered this out in three different passes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn some of these other layers off. So you can see I've got the same shot but it just rendered out the buildings on an alpha channel. And so essentially that allows me to separate them from the background, such as the sky back here. So now I can actually apply Mantra VR effects to individual passes essentially of this shot. And this is a lot more useful for me because I don't want to, again, apply the hyperbolics effect to everything in the shot. And actually what I did in this case is I'm gonna go ahead and turn that main pass off of the buildings. I rendered out another pass of the buildings from a little bit higher up in the air and you're gonna see we still have these building shots like they're going to be far in the background, but you can see when I turn on the main pass, you can't see them anymore. They're hidden. And that's going to be to our benefit here with this shot, and I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to select that far building pass, which is that middle pass you can see right here that's kind of hidden, and I'm going to apply the hyperbolics effect just to it. And you can see now we've applied that effect to those buildings, and I can come in here and adjust the pan here just a little bit. So now you can see we see these buildings kind of getting this cool abstract thing in the background, I'll come back over here to the Metal Globe Preview. So we can still see our foreground building, so we still have our bearings. It kind of gives it a sense of scale. But then you can see this monstrous, abstract, kind of Doctor Strange look with the hyperbolics effect affecting those other buildings on that other layer we had. So I'm going to come back out of that. And of course, we can animate the Mantra VR effect for those back buildings. But what's really cool is having them hidden behind these foreground buildings is I can then control the interpolate option here. And I can bring that down. You can see it's going to reveal them from the background and they appear and kind of expand outward. So that's kind of a cool effect there, having them hidden like that. And obviously we could keyframe any of these options or change the tiling for the hyperbolic effect to get some really crazy results. You can see here it fills up the sky quite a bit more. So we could jump back over to this. Now, one thing I actually uh, like to do with this shot, just kind of as a compositing tip with this one, so I'm just going to pan this a little bit more so we get to some of the more light colored buildings. So you can see the buildings that we have in the background here and to kind of simulate the distance between those and these foreground buildings, one thing I could do is I could apply a curves effect to this. I'm just going to go to color correction and then curves. I'll just bring up the black value right there on the end. You can see it's kind of lightening the color of that. So again, it just adds a little bit more distance to this and it makes it seem like it's further off into the distance like it could be smog or just atmospheric air there to kind of help sell 
that those are a lot farther away. Now, another thing you could do if you didn't want to apply them to the buildings, you could, again, just apply them to uh, the back layer, like the sky here in this particular example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sky, and I can apply something like the meridian waves effect just to the sky. And you can see how now we're getting that abstract effect only on the sky. And that's just another cool way for us to separate that. Another cool one to check out would be the uh, turbulence effect. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to add the Montre VR turbulence effect just to the sky. And we can kind of do that painting liquid-like effect here with this. I'll just bring this up a little bit. You can see the effect that's applying to the sky there with that. Now, if you aren't using CG footage and you're just using real-world footage, you can actually still do these effects on real-world footage. And I'll kind of show you an example of that here. Now, what I've got here is an aerial 360 shot. I actually took this with the uh, DJI Mavic Air. It has the capability to take uh, 360 photos like this. And if I wanted to apply some of those same effects to a shot like this, what I would actually do is I'm going to select my 360 photo, and I'm going to come up here to the Mask tool. And I'm going to create a horizontal mask just right across this bottom area, basically separating it from the sky. And I'll show you kind of what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to mask that out. So now we have this bottom portion. And because I did a horizontal mask, this will go ahead and line up correctly and we won't see any seam lines. So if we actually jump over to the preview, this will be kind of cool. We can actually see kind of what's going on. So you see we don't have any seam lines on the back where those two edges meet because that line was perfectly horizontal. And obviously up here at the top, we went ahead and blacked that out because that's what we removed with that mask. So what I'm going to do here on that mask, I'm going to toggle that down. And you want to make sure you do it a little bit wider because you don't want that feathering to come in here on the side. So that's why I went really wide with that mask on this layer. And I'm just going to add a subtle feather onto this. We'll type in 100 just to kind of help feather that out. And we can adjust that here a little bit more in just a second. So what I've got to replace the sky with is I've got another uh, mirrored sky image, a rectangular shot here you can see. It's just a generic sky shot that's been mirrored. And I'm going to use that as kind of my new sky replacement in this case. But this allows me to have this as a separate layer. So it's kind of like what we did before. So I'm gonna turn back on my original aerial shot. And now we can see that. So I just need to feather these two together. So I'm gonna adjust that mask here just a little bit. I'll drag it down. And I'll zoom in here and just feather this so it looks nice. And obviously you can continue to refine, adjust this as much as you needed to. But again, what we've done here, since we've replaced the sky effectively, we did a sky replacement. We can now apply effects to that back sky layer back here, such as Mantra VR. So I'm going to use the Meridian Waves effect. And I'll just apply that on the sky. And now you can see it's only affecting the sky. So it's a nice kind of convenient way for us to still have our bearings here and see the ground, but just have this new abstract look on the sky only. So let's go ahead and jump over here to the preview. And you can kind of see what this looks like. So we have this nice view of all the regular terrain. And then when we look up, we get this really neat abstract Mantra VR perspective on the sky. We'll jump back out of that, I and mean, obviously we could animate this and animate various properties on this for some really cool looks. Let's go back to that CG city shot. I want to show you another way we could actually use the Mantra VR effects, uh, kind of giving us different layers on our 360 footage. So here is another shot I've got. It's the same shot that I rendered out from Element 3D, and this is all together. But what I've got over here in my project is I've got a depth pass. I'll just double click on this, and you can see this is just a generic depth pass that I rendered out from that same scene. We can use this as well to kind of map and control our 360 effects. So I'm going to drag that pass into my comp. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility of that pass just so we can see this. I'm going to select that bottom pass, this one right here, our original shot. And I'm going to hit Control-D or Command-D on a Mac to duplicate that because we need two different versions of that. So I'm going to turn that bottom one off that we just created just so we can see specifically what's happening. So I've got my depth pass up here on the top. I'll turn it on. And on that next layer, I'm going to select it. I'm going to select Luma Mat Inverted. And now you can see what's happening. It's mapping from that depth pass onto our original layer. So you can see this is going to give us some transparency on this background area. But what's cool about this, since it's a depth pass, it gives us a little bit different versatility the way some objects can kind of come in and out of focus with that. So you can see that there. So what this allows us to do is to apply a Mantra VR or a 360 effect to the buildings either in the foreground or the background of that depth pass. So I'll turn back on my original layer, and that's going to fill back in that background. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to grab the Mantra VR Circular Waves effect and apply that to our back layer. Now you can see it kind of looks like we have this cool like orb, kind of like that dome effect we did with the previous shot. But you can see as I move forward here, you can see buildings are going to pass in and out. It looks like they're kind of coming through the circular waves. 
And actually, just so we can see this a little bit better, I'm actually gonna apply the color gradients effect onto that layer as well. And I'll set that down here to be an overlay mode. And I'm gonna set this to be two different colors. And I'm just gonna zoom out here so we can kind of see this. I'm gonna place one down here at the bottom and this one more so at the top. So now if I jump back over here into the Metal Globe preview, we can look around at this and you can kind of see the effect a little bit better. You can see how we have our closer buildings look normal and it almost looks like we're inside of this globe of this orb and, and the other buildings are kind of passing through this. So it's kind of cool and I can go ahead and zoom in here and we can play this, kind of see that as well. And that's just taking advantage of that depth pass effect that we have to separate out our layer. Finally, let's jump back over to the original shot that we were working with again with the different layer passes. And what I've actually got here, I've got another layer. I'll just solo this really quickly. And what this is, this is just a 360 shot I rendered out of this kind of element here spinning. And we can actually apply effects like the hyperbolic effect or something like this. So I'm just gonna come in here, actually if we look at this in the CG view, 360 view, you can see it's just a layer and it's rotating here on an alpha channel. So I can actually apply the hyperbolic effect just to that type of layer. And you can see this is another way we can add some depth to this particular shot. So I'll just go ahead and unsolo that. And I'll turn back on the far buildings. And so you can see this allows us to kind of separate between the two. If you wanted to have multiple layers in a shot like this one, you can see I'll go ahead and jump back over to the globe preview. All right guys, hopefully you picked up some tips and some ideas for using Mantra VR with alpha channel footage in your 360 projects and also kind of experimenting with depth passes there. Again, this has been Charles Jager with Metal. Thanks for watching.